All right, so now let's end it on a little bit of a fun problem, right? We have some fractions. We all love fractions, right? Um, and this one also has some other interesting things. Besides the fractions, you can see that there's a transformation on the y, but there's no transformation on the x. So again, just think about it. Like if x is not being transformed anyway, then we're not shifting this circle or the center of the circle, like left or right at all, right? So that's going to stay at zero. But the y, you can see that's actually going to shift the center up two units, okay? So again, another way you can kind of think about this is really just an x minus zero quantity squared, right? And therefore you're saying you're just not going over zero. Um, now you could rewrite this four. Dividing by four is the same thing as multiplying by one fourth. So that's exactly what's happening to both these equations, right? Now the y minus two quantity squared equals five. 